Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Life Church. I want, to guys, I, want to, I want to show you guys how to do from Adam to Jesus. All right, it's a card trick that is. Uh, it's normally called the greatest card trick in the world. So if you look that up, you're going to see the same card trick but with different pattern. Anyway, so what you need is a regular deck of cards, fully stocked, and then you need one card that is a different color. Um, for this particular trick, it works best with red and a black backed card. If you can't get that, you can get uh, a card in color with a marker and make this black. You know, just draw on it with a Sharpie or something. Or use a blue one and just say it's sin. It doesn't matter, as long as it's a different color card. And then you want that card to be the King of Hearts for, for this to end the way it's supposed to. So then you want to set the deck up. To set the deck up, you need to get the King of Hearts from the regular deck. So there it is. So the King of Hearts from the regular deck goes on the bottom. Then the King of Hearts with the opposite colored back goes on the bottom. So now you have a King of Hearts and a King of Hearts on the bottom. So what you don't want to do when you start this trick is to show that this is a King of Hearts on the bottom of the deck. It's best that you don't show that. So now, you can do sh regular riffle shuffling if you make sure that the bottom half goes first in a nice chunk so nobody sees that there's a black card down there. Now you'll notice Dodo didn't do that. Dodo did some uh, cuts like this. So we know that this is the bottom. So if you're going to do a cut, you want to make sure that you keep pinky breaks or something like that as you make your cuts so that you still end up with this on the bottom when you're done. Okay? Then you have a random card selected. It does not matter what the card is. So let's just go with that one. So we got a two of diamonds for our example here. So I'm going to put that right there. So what you want to do is you want to make a cut to where you can have them put the card here and that this King of Hearts with the black will sit on top of it. So they'll put their card in here. And what's nice about this is you don't have to do a pinky break. You don't have to do anything like that. You could just set this deck down, have them put their card on the top of it, and then you just can drop the other part of the deck on top there. You don't have to do any kind of holds because the black card is going to tell you where their card is. You don't need to know what it is. So then you want to do some cuts so that you, you look like you're mixing up the cards again. Well, you know that around in the middle here is the black card. So what I like to do is I like to grab maybe a quarter of the cards from the top. Then I like to grab about 50% of the cards. So their are cards somewhere in the middle here. Then another quarter of the cards. And it looks like I've mixed up the cards well. And also I don't reveal at any point in time that there's a black card in the mix. So what I like to do when I'm with somebody is have them, you'll say, can you find your card, or can you find Adam, okay? And then if they can't find Adam, you know, they'll get to a point where there's this black card, and they'll go, oh, so that, and you say, well, that must be him. And so what you do now, of course, you can do it the way Dodo did it, just so you get a see, a see of that. You just riffle out the cards, there's the black card. Well, in both situations, what you're going to do is do a cut at the black card. So you find the black card. Once you find the black card, take the top part of the deck, put it on the bottom, reset the deck, and you want to do a double lift. To do a double lift, you pop up two cards. One, two, okay, and you get a pinky break underneath the top two cards. So then you lift the black one like it's one card. And you can just pick it up and show like that if you like. So now this, it looks like the card they selected has a black back. Okay, then you put it back down. Of course, the other, other method to do it is the way Dodo did it. You turn like that, show the card, turn it back. And then you, when you put this down, it looks like it's as smooth as that was their card. And you put it down. And we all know that that is a king of hearts. So their card is actually still right here. And because of the way the deck's set up, the King of Hearts is now on the bottom of this deck. So now you're going to do a Hindu Shuffle. In a Hindu Shuffle, this card stays exactly where it is. 
and you'll have somebody say stop. It does not matter when. All you do is grab a couple cards from the top, drop them in your hand. Grab a couple cards from the top, drop them in your hand. And you just keep doing that. When somebody says stop, you stop. And then you just pick this up. It, it's smart to change your hand orientation here because it signifies like you're showing a random card. It, it's different if you, if you pick it up like this. It's kind of awkward. It looks a little funny. If you change your hand orientation and then you show this card, so they think, okay, I stopped him at that card. So it looks like there's a bunch of cards here. They could have picked any one of those, or if they kept going, this card wouldn't have been picked. It looks like that. So then you show them this card, and then so they've got the King of Hearts. You just pop that back together, do a few cuts again, and this time if you wanted to, you could do a riffle shuffle if you weren't doing them before, but the reason I wouldn't do that is because then it signifies something funny that you were able to do with, you, that you did one there, but you didn't do it there. Somebody's going to go, well, why didn't you do one earlier? So that's why if I'm, if I'm doing a whole bunch of cuts, I keep cuts at the end too. So then I like to always do this one. You, you'll go, you can go through the cards and have them find it again. And then when, when they can't find it, you just spread it out all the way. Or with Dodo, when there was nobody else showing, he just did it immediately. You spread it out and you say, well, oh, there's the black one right there. So it started out as Adam, Adam's sin. You go, oh, well, Jesus sin, right? You know, or there's Jesus right there. And then as the final resistance, you pick up that card, or have them pick up that card, and see that it is indeed the King of Hearts, because the, Jesus takes away the sin. And that's how, that's how it ends. That's it. So enjoy it, guys. See you next time.